Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sadikali channel. Today in our Python tutorial number 10, we are diving into the fascinating world of loops. If you want to write all of these, you can pause the video. Let me give you a simple overview. Uh, actually, uh, loops in Python are essential for repeating tasks and there are two main types. Number one, for loops and second, while loop. As you can see, let's start with the versatile of for loop. In Python, a for loop is perfect for iterating over a sequence like uh, list, tuple, dictionary, set, or string. Let's see it in action. Uh, take a simple example. We are taking a simple example here. It's just my name. Uh, we have a list of names uh, Sadikali which is my name and uh, Sadikali and Disadikali the for loop effortlessly print each name uh, let's see As you can see in the output section, Now uh, we are printing uh, fruits, mango, orange, banana, uh, as you can see, mango, orange, banana, with fall loop. Uh, now let's explore the power of uh, for loop with numbers and uh, even we can draw a triangle with that and uh, we can do much more with for loop. The possibilities are endless, you know. Uh, so let's see. We are taking a number from 1 to 20. As you can see, Uh, let's do a simple example. Let's uh, draw a triangle here. Uh, as you know, uh, range function is helpful to think of the range object in order list. And you know, we'll be uh, drawing a triangle with a uh, star here. Uh, 
and uh, you know about range function it return a sequence of number from 1 to 10 and 0 to 10 or by default and also you know about that it ends as a specified number after that we will be doing a while loop so just we are doing this just for attraction you know it's a bit let's print this As you can see the triangle here uh, If you want to uh, download the code uh, You can download the code from github And the link will be in the description So don't worry about the code As you can see the range function here So now uh, uh, let's talk about uh, mighty while loop. This loop help uh, keep executing a block of code as long as a condition is true. Now let's take a simple example here. Uh, here uh, sometimes we use uh, boolean uh, just like true or false uh, just like uh, run until it get false or true as you can see in the output section yeah count 1 to 10 run until it get false Let's give them a proper look as you can see in the output section here. Now uh, let's talk about nested loop. Uh, as you know about nested loops uh, add another layer of complexity and here we showcase a nested loop example. A simple example. In this example uh, we will be creating a pattern. But first let's give them a proper look
and uh, you can also do this with ij and it has two ways So it will be nested as you know uh, we have different ways of uh, variable so let's do this take a number anything you want as you can see we took uh, 10 here Uh, as we adopt zipper we encounter the for else statement continue statement and break statement each serving unique purposes let's do the for else statement here It's uh, uh, you know about continuous statement uh, is same as the above, but uh, you know uh, we use uh, continue in the end actually. Let's check the output. Now let's do the continuous statement because these are same, nothing else. Uh, we use continuous statement uh, in the end and the above we use else uh, but here we use continue rest of, rest of the code will be same just like this nothing else You know when we use continue it will jump and when we use break statement then it will con then it will break there yeah. As you can see, this one is the continue and this one is the break statement. Both are same. 
but there only one difference between them in the continue we did it will jump and in the break it will break now uh, let's do the while else statement here uh, we also okay and let me tell you something about while else uh, provide, uh, while else statement providing a comprehensive overview of Python loops As you can see, uh, you know about while else statement is used to specify a block of code uh, to be executed if the while loops condition become false, and uh, the code inside the else block run only when the loop condition is no longer true. Uh, let me give you a simple assignment uh, so you can practice, and the assignment will be on my GitHub, so don't worry about that. And you know about while else uh, it provides an alternative set of instruction for the for when the loop naturally concludes And the break uh, in while loop is same as uh, for loop. It will break here, and uh, you can use the continue for continue in while loop. As you can see, break in while loop zero, one, two, and then break. As we wrap up this tutorial, don't forget to practice and explore more on your own. You can uh, find the code on GitHub, link will be in the description. Thank you so much for joining us today on my channel. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumb, subscribe for more content and hit the notification bell. Until next time, happy coding. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye. Thank you.